Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you film Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Taurus for June 1st through the 15th, 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there might actually find them entertaining. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. Now we do like to radiate with that true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving types because we have nothing to fear. Because we are calm and we are cheerful. Okay? Um, the cards are pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the reading for Taurus for June 1st to the 15th, 2020. I'm going to start with that general energy. I do want to say also that this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, I haven't said that before, but you know, this is pretty much what I'm thinking when I do do my readings. So I guess I decided to share that with you. And if you don't know what those are, well, maybe it's time you did a little research, right? All right, you guys. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and find out what the general energy is for Taurus for June 1st through the 15th, 2020. Today's general energy, or for the 1st to the 15th, actually, is... We have the Three of Cups, right? The Three of Cups, and we have the word abundance, right? Working on yourself, figuring out that you are abundant, possibly, right? I would hope so. Figuring out that you are abundant within yourself. Yes, sir. Let me see real quick. I see the sign of cancer here. So you could have cancer in your chart. All right. Somewhere up in there somewhere. <laughs> All right. But there is abundance that's making a show, making a, an appearance here. Okay. Maybe you've realized that you are abundant. Maybe before you felt that you were in lack. Not no more. Because you possibly realize that abundance, abundance is all around you. And that's good. All right. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on here for Taurus. For June 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Taurus. Tell us what's going on with Taurus for June 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Taurus. Taurus. First card out. We have the four swords, truce. We could be dealing with a Libra. But it appears here that whatever truce is going to happen is not quite happening right now. Four of Swords could also indicate the ending. So, another thing that could be is somebody is refusing to see that something is over. Okay. Maybe someone's tired, but they are refusing to give up on you. Okay, this could be you. Refusing to see that you're in lack, right? You're, you know, you're refusing to see that. Maybe you were taught that and you are refusing to see that because now you feel that you are abundant. You can be as, as abundant as you want to be, right? Let me get more cards here. So, you know, with the other readings, I had a hard time coming out also. And I'm kind of thinking, to be quite honest with you, because of the size of these cards. This is not very... I don't, I don't like them too big. But these were one of the first decks that I got. I'm like, oh, wow, I want a big deck. Yeah, big mistake. <laughs> big mistake. All right. <clears throat> Second card we have out, Princess of Discs. 
All right, this is like the Page of Pentacles, all right? So this is your energy here. Possibly starting new um, endeavors or new projects to bring in more abundance, you know, maybe some more financial flow. And that's good, working on your finances, right? Even though abundance is all around us, when it comes to finances and material stuff like that, well, we got to save some money and got to, because, you know, nothing's for free. And the only thing that's for free is, you know, nature. And people don't tend to like nature too much anymore, which is a shame. <clears throat> so what else do we have next here? It appears here that Princess of Discs is a good start for you, okay, because this is basically um, the, the path that you're on. And this is possibly the correct path, is, you know, working with your finance and fixing that, fixing your abundance. I just want to get this over with, basically, so we can get a move on, right? Can't really see what's going on so far, a little bit, right? Not wanting to end a situation, but definitely working on your financial situation. <coughs> Maybe you started a business, and you're not going to give up. Maybe you're in a relationship, and you're not going to give up, right? Maybe finding balance within yourself, even, is also a possibility. Well, let's see what this card is. Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this is telling me that you've put an end to a situation. And I'm thinking it might be that lack mentality. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Saying goodbye to lack a mentality, saying goodbye to negative feelings, negative thoughts, right, that have brought you to believe that you can't be abundant, but I think you're starting to realize that you can. Yes, you can, and uh, you're putting an end to that frame of thinking, that way of thinking, right? Perhaps you thought you were lacking in abundance, but not anymore. No, no, not you, Taurus, not you. Yeah, it appears also that whatever you put it into has to do with an Aries, right? We do have the Four of Wands, okay? Could have uh, ended a situation, a relationship with an Aries because possibly you're wanting to move forward to something more than that. Maybe this person has put you in that lack mentality and now you're deciding, you know what? I can have what I want and I want to have what I want and I'm going to put an end to you and your negativity. And I'm going to work on me, and I'm going to move towards my Four of Wands, right? Yes. You could be dealing with a female Aries, okay? Because we have the female symbol, and then we have the Aries symbol. Simple as that. This is why I said that, because it's right there on the card. It's not like I'm making that up or, you know, oh, my psychic bitch. No, no, it's saying it on the card. It's just being straight up. <laughs> All right, I wanted to let you guys know that's how I came up with that. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, dealing with a female Aries who, you know, you're done with that person. You've come to a completion when it comes to that person. The word on the card, it says completion, <laughs> right? Death, completion, same thing, except now it's saying that that's what's happening with this person. Okay. Just looking for one more card here, you guys. One more card. One more card. Whoa, that one did the flipperoo, but it didn't come out. So let's keep going. Because I only need one more card, right? I'm only taking one more card, Spirit. Let me get one more card for Taurus. And this is for June 1st through the 15th, 2020. Taurus. June 1st to the 15th, 2020. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Look it up if you're not sure what that is. 
right? Can't do everything for you guys. All I can do is just try to read these cards to you and give you my own situation, right? The Hermit. So you could also be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Because the Virgo is the Hermit card. Um, hmm. Hmm. Somebody might be going into hermit mode because they're feeling a sense of sadness over a situation and they're trying to figure it out. Um, holding something a secret, hiding something, maybe some sort of emotions because I have a snake around an egg. It's like that snake is protecting that egg and this could be someone's emotions. <clears throat> we have the three-headed dog. Isn't this the mythical creature? It gets, I think it might get tamed from its fury. I don't know. So there's somebody that might be taming their, their passions, taming their thoughts, even taming their thoughts. Um, hmm. But I do feel that someone is upset. And that's why they're in the hermit mode, upset over possibly realizing these deceptions, like, I can't believe you did this to me type of energy, right? I can't believe you lied to me. I can't believe you deceived me. Someone who I'm supposed to put all my trust into because I'm supposed to feel protected from that individual. But that individual did not protect me. They deceived me. And this is where somebody had to go in a hermit mode. This could be you, Taurus, going through this. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have Fool, right? So once, uh, if, if this has not happened to you yet, this ending, once you do have that ending and you go into hermit mode and try to figure out why did this happen to me, what's going on, how could my life have taken a turn, listen, it's not your fault, whatever you're going through. Okay, yes, maybe you did some dirty deeds, okay. But deep down initially within you, it's not your fault. You were not born to do whatever you did. Whatever you did was learned. Okay, well, it's my, my mother, my father. No, it's not their fault either. They taught you what you learned and they learned that from somewhere else. It's like an ongoing chain. Right? You really can't blame anyone for anything because people act the way they act because they it's a learned thing. Like I said, when we are born, we're like a clean sheet of paper. From day one, the story starts to you know become written. Your morals, your values, you know, how you love, you know, your emotions stability everything starts from day one and whoever influences you starting from day one is who um, is teaching you what they learned maybe they learned lack and taught the lack to you you can't really blame them maybe you can be up you're gonna probably be upset if after a little while when you realize wow I'm the way I am because my parents okay well Heal yourself from that, right? Get You can get mad, anger, whatever. Do it, do it on your own. But remember, somebody taught them that too. So you can't really stay mad at them. You really can't. Because they were unknowing, just like you. They just told you <clears throat> the best that they knew. And that's what it was. So you really can't blame anyone for anything. All you can do is you know, just learn from it and make sure you move in the right direction. I do see after you let this go and you figure that out yourself, there's a new journey waiting for you. There's a new life waiting for you. The life of abundance, having abundance because you realize that you deserve that. Yes, you do. You sure do, Taurus. You deserve everything that your heart desires. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. 
We're going to start out with that first card. This is you as you are. You are not putting something to an end, okay? There may not be a truce happening uh, right right away, but it's, it's in the works, right? Somebody is not trying to, you know, be stuck in their head and, and, and tired of the situation they're in. They're trying to move forward from that, but it's hard right now, okay? Because they're dealing with competition. They're having to, to compete with others in order to move forward in whatever situation there is. You know, this is not playing fair. This is not fair. I mean, unless you're in a sport, you're in a competition. But if this is just regular old life stuff, I mean, come on. What do you got to compete for? Can't you be happy for whoever is in your environment if they're doing well? Can't you just be happy for them and move forward yourself? Or do you have to stay in that jealousy and... And, and competition and defending yourself all the time. It's just so strenuous and so anxiety filled. It brings your emotions down, emotions that, you know, should be high vibrational at all times. Well, it's too hard to have it at all times. It's almost impossible to be high vibration 24 7. And if you say you are, you're lying. Sorry. <laughs> just had to put that out there. We all hurt, we all get sad, we all get mad. We all feel joy, we all feel happiness, love. We need the balance of two, all right? So just saying, just saying. It appears that you have a, a lot of competition involving uh, this queen of um, wands, fire sign, or fire somewhere in their chart. This person um, was deceptive, who you were dealing with. Okay, the one you were dealing with was deceptive. You know, they might have put you in competition with others. But uh, this may not be over, though. Maybe staying in your head about this person might be over. Princess of Discs, huh? I see here we have the king of, you know, princess of discs is somebody who's basically, uh, we're, we're trying to figure out what path they're on, right? And the princess of disc right here is somebody that's possibly starting a new um, financial or um, balance in their life, right? It's just a bit stability, right? Making that first step to start that, <clears throat> right? You got to start somewhere, all right? Somebody might even be bringing in a meager gift for somebody you might be giving somebody a gift something small not really meager in a bad sense but something small just to show that you care could even be a dang flower that you picked from your garden and you fancied it up and gave it to somebody that's an equally beautiful gift as any that actually comes from the heart it's not like you went out and spent on it you know, gifts are nice, especially those ones that come from the heart. Maybe a poem or a flower or a drawing. Those are gifts from the heart. Because you created it yourself. You have this king of swords right here. So, you know, you could be dealing with the king of swords or you could be in this energy, right? Maybe you have mastered your um mental health or are mastering it or are down pretty close right no one's in 100 percent healed or mastered right no one is ever 100 percent there's always lack everywhere but that's what balance is about you have lack and you have abundance you gotta have both to find happiness in between right balance you could also be dealing with the Queen of Cups or somebody here, or you could um, be dealing with two individuals, actually. If you are a female, you could be <clears throat> holding that energy of this Queen of uh, Wands, very passionate about what you want, what you believe. Maybe you have been deceived because of competition, somebody put you in competition and they deceived you in this sense, right? 
you could be starting some new financial security for yourself and you could be dealing with the Queen of Cups right now. All right. Or you could be dealing with a King of Swords and a Queen of Cups, possibly your parents, because, you know, pages, this is a page card, pages are children. Doesn't mean that you're a child child. You can be a, a grown individual, but still be immature, emotionally, mentally, whatever, you know. So these could be your parents. Let me see if I can get another card here. It's interesting. Never kind of never really got some kind of reading like this before. <laughs> okay, there you are, Taurus. So you could be dealing, you could be someone starting your financial endeavors, right? Starting new, maybe starting your own business, starting from the bottom, you know, started from the bottom, now we're here, right? And that's where you want to get. You want to be in that King of Pentacles, and maybe you know you can get there, but there could be people who are, you know, maybe standing in front of you, trying to not allow you to do this, trying not to, trying to deter you from this idea or thought, or I don't know. There's a lot of people here involved, people who have got to put their two cents in, it looks like. And they might be even putting be putting their two cents in, in regards to a queen of wands here. Maybe you're dealing with a king of <clears throat> king of swords and queen of um, cups. Maybe there's another person in the picture, another king of pentacles. This could be you still trying to start something new with someone, somewhere, some job, some idea, whatever. But it seems that somebody is not happy with this Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands, Taurus, in your life? Something that not too many people may be interested in, right? They might think that this person is deceptive or, you know, putting you in competition with others. I don't know here. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving because that's, that's real interesting. Maybe you have family members or people around you. Uh, that are saying, don't go to this person, don't be around them, they're deceptive, they can hurt you. They want your money, they want this, they, I don't know, something, I don't know, I'm feeling some kind of weird energy right here, right? Jeez, that's, that is a weirdy, weirdy energy, Taurus. I also see here we have the Nine of Swords, so now, Taurus, you know, this is your obstacle. And this is what you can't keep out of your head. Right? Because you want to work on something with someone, but you're feeling like this might actually be the end, right? And you might be dealing with somebody in the energy of this Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is this could be you also. You could be this single person, Taurus, who's who becomes financially stable and secure on their own. Maybe you've made it past all this mess right here, all these people trying to talk in your ear and tell you what to do. And maybe you've actually reached or just about reaching that Nine of Pentacles energy. We're in the reverse, okay? It could mean it could mean that it could be in the reverse, not because of, oh, you didn't make enough money. No, no. It could mean that you still need more balance. You still need more healing. But as long as you work on yourself, that's good. Try to stay out of your head about this, okay? Maybe something that you tried didn't work out too well when it came to an end and you're mourning over it, whatever, whatever. But from what I can see here is you kind of want to work on this. Maybe something has come to an end, but maybe you want to work on something new once you get a little more stable, possibly. That would, that's a good idea. Shoot, if that's what you're doing, huh, that's a great idea. I mean, I'm just saying. Trying to find your own stability is always good, right? Why is this friggin' four of wands here, right? To me, that card kind of a little bit looks like the Wheel of Fortune, right? I'm kind of feeling a disappointed appointment there, you know, in regards to that this is somebody who is actually being cut out because of their deception. Yeah, I'm feeling bad for whoever did this to you. 
Okay, we have the Eight of Cups here. So yes, definitely walking away, putting an end of a situation, and you're just walking away from whoever this uh, Aries is, this Aries female, okay? Um, maybe you were mourning over it a little bit because it shows right here you were stuck in your head. You weren't really balanced, but I see here that you did walk away, okay? First step, second step. You, you know, you were in your head, you were sad over the loss, but not anymore. You're out of it now. Because why are you going to cry for somebody who deceived you or who was wrong to you or who whatever caused this death energy, right? Why well, feel sad over that? Because, you know, or mad, whatever emotion you are feeling, why feel that way? Because, you know, so they did you wrong. Are you going to hold a grudge forever? Maybe you've learned how to master that emotion, right? Or this person, yes, look, you're, this is heartbreak. This person has broken your heart. Now, now I can explain to you because as we mentioned before, parents involved, right? You could be this page dealing with older individuals trying to talk in your ear and tell you what to do because they know best. It's not always necessarily true. What's good for them is good for them. What's good for you is good for you. Everything, everyone has their own idea of what is good for them, right? And maybe you are starting to come into that energy that you're starting to understand that, yes, I know it's good for me. So, yes, I under also understand that the opinion you're giving me is what's good for you. And this is your opinion for you. And you're just saying to me what you do for you, even though you're subconsciously doing that and you're really wanting me to do what you say. But I'm not going to because I realize that that opinion you're giving me is good for you, not what's good for me, right? It's maybe how you're starting to look at things. And this heartbreak could be heartbreak from, you know, a parent. Maybe you're realizing that this parent has deceived you. That can be heartbreak too. I'm not feeling, I'm almost not feeling, Taurus, that this is a love reading for you. You're going through some family issues Realizing that you got to even cut loose family because it's toxic. And that's super hard to do. Super, super, super hard. Trust me, I know. I've been there. But even though many, 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 many years went by from, of me not speaking to my parents, I turned it around later, once I was healed, once I kind of realized the truth about things that are happening, then I'm just like, you know what, I was being unfair. So maybe I, they did deceive, but they only taught me what they knew. They didn't intentionally deceive me. They were deceived too. And it's like, darn, too bad I didn't know this before, because then I could have released all this anger that I've been holding all these years of not talking to my parents. Trust I turned that around because I have come into realization. And now, you know, I talk to my mother. I'm happy. I've had communications with my sister. I've had uh, interaction with my father. It's all step by step. Right? It's okay to love them from afar. I always felt like I need them there. I need, no, well, I need them there, but it doesn't seem like they really needed me there or even wanted me there. But that was my own insecurities, right? For my own mind. And maybe I still find them slightly toxic, but you can't change anyone. So you can love people from afar and it's okay. What are the next four cards out? Or the next three cards out here? Let's look at that Hermit card for Taurus. This is for June 1st to the 15th, 2020. <clears throat> June 1st to the 15th, 2020. Ooh, something there. June 1st to the 15th, 2020. Oops. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what we got there. We got somebody actually starting to work on themselves, right? Or work on something. I'm, I'm 
I'm betting that it's you working on yourself because you've come into some big transformation or transitional change and you're starting to understand stuff. That's what I feel like. You may have received some truth and this is why you've come to this conclusion, why you needed to separate yourself from whatever toxic energies were in your life, why you're starting to work on yourself. That's great. That's good, you know. I'm trying to send you energy right now to just make it through this. Just know you can do it, all right. I don't even need to be sending no energy, but I can send you positive words of, you can do this. It's a process. And you know what? You've got that energy in you. You don't even need it from me or anyone else. You've got it in you already. you just got to dig for it. It's there. It's waiting for you to utilize. Okay? We have the Six of Cups in reverse, though. You may have received some truth about something, about someone from the past. Maybe you find out, found out that, that person was actually not too bad of a person. But you're not getting along with them because of what all these people told you. All these people had something negative to say. Why? Because they didn't want you to have that abundance. And I'm feeling like you're finally seeing that now. They don't want to see you successful or happy. Maybe they've sabotaged most all of your relationships for all you know. You don't know yet. I mean, maybe you're still realizing things, but I think, you know, this could be the case. This is what's at the bottom of the deck. It appears that you have a lot of options. But it doesn't look like these options, options that these people are giving you or your experience, and they're not, they're not any good. Because that's all they are, options. They're options. They're opinions. But what about what you want? What about what you want? Maybe you want that card to be flipped around. You got some truth. Obviously, you want to work something out with somebody from the past and you want to send in a message of truth to them tell them that sorry I was blinded by these options that were given to me by people who I thought I could trust now you've come to realize that you really can't and you may be angry at them but that will pass too <clears throat> that's basically what I have for you Taurus Okay. Progress can be made if you can bring in truth to the past, something that you left hanging after you work on yourself, though. What's helping you here is stepping away from this negative energy, this four of wands energy, right? You were attached to a situation. Doesn't even have to be marriage here. Even though the four of wands is 1111 card, this is also the card of the soulmate. You could have had a parent that was a soulmate that needed to teach you a lesson. That parent might not even realize that that's what they are to you. But if they have deceived you or you have accepted something as deception of from a parent, that's a lesson and you need to learn from it. Okay, you need to learn from that lesson. Walk away from the deception. Walk away of the sap from the sadness and heartbreak that this person has caused in your life. Soulmates don't always have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a family member, a friend, somebody who you have interact action with that makes a deep impact on your life. And this is what has happened. This is what's helping you. What's helping you is walking away from this and not mourning over this loss anymore because they broke your heart. It's time to heal that heart. How can progress be made? Work on yourself, bring in some truth, and go find that person who may have triggered you to actually change your mind, life and move in this direction that you thought was a deceiver and they're actually not. Okay, you were dealing with some dirty individuals here. I'm watching One Love. I also have here 
I'm on your team. Okay, awesome. Forgive me. Somebody's trying to ask for forgiveness, Taurus. I also see Pisces here. The letters I have are E, N, P, U, Q, Y, R, and C. Next message we have here, we have enraged. Okay, somebody's pretty pissed off because they know the truth now. They know what's been happening. They're really, really mad. They were dealing with impure people. I'm sorry. So was I, and I got over it. You can too. You could be dealing with somebody. You're with a tiger, right? And it's funny because I see Taurus here, but it's only half of the word. Maybe you are the one that's mad right now. So mad because of what you've realized. It's okay to be mad. That's the first stage of getting over stuff. You be you're mad, you come to accept, you know, blah blah blah, right? With P Y X R L C C twice, okay. Those are some letters. This could be first, middle, last name. Okay, this could also be an acronym. Or maybe you could spell a word with those letters, right? We have eccentric. You could be dealing with somebody who is real eccentric, you know, out of the ordinary, wild. You could be you're the snake, Chinese astrology, or dealing with a snake. Letters I have here are A-E-Z-I-O-R. Another Z. No, that one's an N. My bad. And then we have F. Okay, so that was A, E, Z, R, N, O, and F. Okay, that's what we got there. Next card we have cruel. Yeah, somebody was being pretty cruel to you, okay? Perhaps they were a manipulator, some sort of manipulating genius who was cruel to you, right? Mm -hmm. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius. All right, somebody with Aquarius in their chart could be you or them. I don't know, but that's what, you, that's what I see here. We have the number eight. Something happening in eight days, eight hours, eight minutes. Eight months. Or something may have happened over the lifespan of eight years. All right. So something could happen for you at the end of 2021 or during 2021. If you started something in the two year 2013. Or, you know, just uh, think about eight year time span. What were you doing eight years ago? Right. <clears throat> I was counting my own. That's why, <laughs> that's why I was saying, you know. Anyways, so we have the letters D, U, A, U. Z and Y. Okay. All right. So let's see. What's next? Yes. Definitely dealing with a selfish person, somebody who didn't care about your success, somebody who wanted to teach you lack mentality. Yeah, definitely dealing with someone, someone like that. Uh, maybe you have met a graceful person, okay, has come into, or a graceful person has come into your life, and maybe they've gotten you to see something. Hmm. Interesting. We have D, W, Q, uh, Z, H, 7, and J. Yes, that's the 7. All right. It's God's number. All right. Inner wisdom and knowing. Perfection and completeness. Completeness. That's what it's all about, right? Let's find out what's going on with your chakras, and we're good. All right. Taurus, I don't know. I think you've had the longest read so far. Shoot. <laughs> All right, so it appears that, you know what, Taurus, your heart chakra is closed right now. And, you know, I can understand why you're going through all this, possibly not opening your heart to anybody because you realize deception now. And that's going to take a little time, I understand. So, you know, at your own pace, right? Um, we also have that you are definitely on your way to opening that throat chakra. Good job, right? Because now it's time to speak out, speak your feelings, your emotions. Definitely. Your um, <clears throat> stability is getting better, a little by little, 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 right? We also have you working on your emotions, your sexuality, your will, right? And that's real good. 
Um, I also see that you got some closed uh, third eye chakra, but that's okay because it's making an appearance, which means you're starting to think about it. Maybe you're starting to think, well, maybe I should follow my intuition a lot more now. Maybe I wasn't really following it before. So now it's making an appearance, which is telling me that you're going to start working on that. And that's good. All right, Taurus. So that's what I have for you for June, June 1st to the 15th, 2020. Remember to keep it, you know, true love energy, okay? I can say high vibrational until I'm blue in the face, but we can't all be high vibrational all the time. But we can try to be in that energy of true love, can't we? Love for ourselves. Happy, friendly, and loving individuals. We have nothing to fear because we're calm and cheerful. Or we're trying to be that way. And, you know, sometimes we are and sometimes we're not. The main focus here is to catch ourselves when we're not. And figure out why are we failing that way. Because it's a lesson. It's a lesson in the making. All right, you guys. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll definitely talk to you guys next time. Bye.